Am I the asshole? For siding with my daughter that she doesn't need to invite her sister to the popular table. Both of my daughters are in high school, my oldest Cindy is 16 and my youngest Emily is 14. Now Cindy is quite popular, she is on the volleyball team and has a huge friend group. My youngest isn't very popular and her friend Beth is her main friend or ex-friend. It also doesn't help that she is into hobbies most other high schoolers don't care about. Emily and Beth got into a fight and Beth is not speaking to her anymore. She is sitting alone at lunch now. This came out yesterday and my husband wants Cindy to invite her to sit with her group of friends at the popular table. Cindy refused saying she doesn't want to do that. My husband was mad but when he tried to get me to back him up I told him Cindy has every right to not want her little sister in her friend group. That you can't do that to her and Emily needs to make her own friends. My husband is pissed at me and Cindy. Emily is super upset that she doesn't have people to eat with and I am wondering if I made the right call or if I am being a jerk. Edit common questions B I know I have a lot of comments. Hobbies knitting, tree shaping. She quit art club, I have tried multiple time to get her into clubs she quits usually. Oldest just doesn't want her to invite her to her table, them I have a good relationship in general. Not the asshole. You're right in that Emily needs to find her own way and get her own friends. Also it's weird that you spelled Emily three different ways in this post. Info. Is Cindy embarrassed by Emily? I'm guessing that Emily is new to high school being 14, if she's shy it will obviously take her a little longer to make new friends. Not the asshole you can't fix this for her. There are introverts and extroverts in the world. Emily may be upset, but it is part of growing up and people are different. Guide her where you can, but you are a guide and not a fixer. Don't overparent. I just know I wouldn't have left my little sister eating alone at lunch, yes no one has to do anything but a bit of empathy doesn't go amiss. ESH. What are you personally doing to help Emily through this tough time as her parent? Not the asshole. I found my best friend BC my sister finally kicked me away from her group my freshman year of high school. It's been almost 15 years and we're like family. Emily needs friends, but her sister's friends aren't the answer. What happened between your youngest and her ex-friend? WTH? This sounds so heartless. If I was the big sister I'd invite her over. Empathy matters. Also, the little sister has to be civil to the other older kids at the table. Everyone being decent to each other. You're the asshole. You act like those bullies at school. You only like the popular girl. It's a good thing that Emily has your husband in her corner. I would hate to have a mom like this. Love for dad. Your older popular daughter is refusing to speak to your introvert younger daughter and you're letting that go on? That's not how family members should treat one another. Sounds like mean girl dynamics from both mother and oldest daughter. You're the asshole. You should encourage your children to help each other, not for one of them to elevate herself and leave her sister isolated. You and Cindy RTA. Your husband and Emily aren't. When this happens organically, it can work out the best for everyone. But the key word here is organic. You can't force this to happen. It will cause resentment. You're the asshole. It does not take a lot to be kind. As a parent, you should teach your children to be kind. It was such a small ask for your older child to agree to. Erta. You're the asshole. You're teaching your kids not to help their siblings and be that it's good to be exclusionary. Emily needs to learn better social skills, but hopefully not from you. I feel bad for her. I am a very inclusive person. If I see someone eating alone, I will ask to join them or invite them over. Your older daughter should not feel forced to do this but it would be a nice thing for her to do. When your daughter tries to self-delete, you and her sister better remember how you all isolated her. You're the asshole. Not the asshole. It would be incredibly awkward for Emily if she were to sit with them. 
This is not a good solution. Perhaps Emily will find another person or group to join. She could also look around to see if anyone else is eating alone. Would be easier to solve this by convincing Em to reconcile with Beth, as, them being 14, it must have been some irrelevant nonsense than they split over. Yeah let the girls figure it out amongst themselves. Not the asshole. Emily needs to make a place for herself in this world, and unfortunately surviving a social dynamic is part of it. Plus, Opie probably understands girl world way better than dad ever would. You're the asshole if your daughter is deliberately excluding her sister from a seat when she is clearly sitting alone at lunch. Don't teach your child cruelty. Soft you're the asshole. You can't force your kids to do anything but you're showing a lack of empathy or even concern for your younger daughter. You could encourage your older kid to be an ally to her sister. Emily needs to join some club's extracurriculars at school. She may need encouragement signing up. Have her make a goal to join something before winter break. High school can be brutal without a friend group. You're the asshole 100. High school popularity does not matter after high school. Siblings are for life. You're the asshole. You need to keep those sisters talking. Your kid us the R. I would have never let my sister be stuck all alone in school. I understand your husband's reasoning but don't agree with it. Forcing friendship is never a good idea and I would expect two teenagers of different ages and personality to have different friend groups. Does Cindy's friends like her at all? Because if they don't that's even more awkward than sitting alone. You're the asshole. Lil Sis is eating alone and doesn't have many friends. Big Sis needs to let her Lil join at the table. I don't care if she is popular. She is not too good for other people. That mindset needs to be rid of. You and your older daughter RTA. Your husband gets it. She doesn't have to indoctrinate her into the clique, but maybe just show a little compassion to her sister for 15-20 minutes a day. Now I see both your points. Ultimately it's Cindy's choice but I do think it's unfortunate there is such a divide between them. You're the asshole. Sitting and eating lunch isn't including her sister in the friend group. It's just curtsy you sound like you favor your popular daughter over the other. Way to go mom. I'm a mother of daughters. I would never do what you're doing. Not the asshole Emily's woes should not be to the detriment of her sisters. You are quite right. I totally understand your husband's viewpoint however. He is looking out for his daughter. This is just not the right way to do it. While I feel bad for Emily, you are right not to force Cindy to fix it. Emily needs to learn to build relationships. Not the asshole. When I was in high school I sat with my older sister and her friends for months until my sister kicked me out of the group because she knew I needed to branch out and make my own friends. Not the asshole. She can support her in other ways at school. Prevent bullying etc but there's a two year gap that's huge at that age and it's unfair to force your oldest and her friends to babysit her in a way.